iPhone Face ID includes three encrypted parts. Flood Illuminator. Infrared Camera. And Dot Projector. Most common Face ID problems cases are The Face ID cannot work, demo with this iPhone 11 It shows move iPhone a little lower And Face ID is not available, demo with this iPhone 10 Now introducing new repair To those Face ID faulty Remove the front camera flex cable. We use the dot projector reprogrammer to fix the face ID fault. Connect the dot projector to the I2C reprogrammer. Click test. The faulty is fusing. Here is the data transfer from dot projector to new flex cable, with chip. The first step is to transfer the dot projector data to new flex cable. Connect the original dot projector flex to I2C reprogrammer. Read data. Disconnect the flex. Connect I2C dot projector flex X to I2C reprogrammer. Click right. Done. The second step is to jump wire on MOSFET inside dot projector. Set temperature to 210 degrees centigrade. Wind power 30. Solidify the front camera flex cable with heat insulation glue. Take down the dot projector flex cable. Do it slowly and carefully. Or the flex cable might be damaged. Heat up the magnet ring. Take it down. Remove the encrypted chip beside the MOSFET. Apply solder flux. There are three pins on the MOSFET. Jump silver wire on one pin. Then weld the silver wire on another pin. Apply solder flux. Weld the encrypted chip. Heat it up for a while. The last step is to weld the dot projector on the new flex cable. Apply it in on the I2C dot projector flex X. Heat it up for a while. Then weld the magnet ring on. Heat it up.
connect to I2C dot projector reprogrammer. Test it. It shows OK. Place the dot projector flex on the front camera flex. Do it carefully. The position should be accurate. Or the move iPhone a little lower error will show up. Draw some UV adhesive. Then dip some drops on the flex. Use UV lamp to solidify it. Install front camera flex cable. Connect the flex cables. Install the screen. Test again. Power on. Set up face ID. It works well. Demonstrate the JC reprogrammer. Different from I2C, we must connect it to a computer for testing. Software upgrade. Keep on holding the home button until update is finished. Fusing 2. What about the compatibility? There are words on the I2C dot projector flex X, while no words on the JC dot projector flex X. That is the difference between them. Connect the original dot projector flex X on the JC reprogrammer. Read data. Save the file. Then connect the JC dot projector flex X on the JC reprogrammer. Open the file. Click burn. Done. Not good enough. Use AI 2C reprogrammer to fulfill the same taste. Connect the front camera flex on the I2C reprogrammer. Read data. Connect AI2C dot projector flex X on the reprogrammer. Write data. Done. Connect JC dot projector flex X to the I2C reprogrammer. Write data. Done. Connect an I2C 
2C. Projector Flex X to the JC Reprogrammer. Open the file. Burning fail. So, JC Reprogrammer works with JC Flex only. But, I2C Reprogrammer works with both I2C Flex and JC Flex.